On July 21, 2023, in Libreville, Gabon, the Republican Guard received four AML-90 armored reconnaissance vehicles from France. President Ali Bongo Ondimba symbolically handed over the keys to the vehicles during a ceremony held in the capital, in the presence of high-ranking officials from all branches of the Gabonese military. The Republican Guard, responsible for the protection of the president and presidential properties, now has a reinforced fleet with the acquisition of these armored vehicles. This delivery comes at a critical time, just one month before the country's presidential elections. According to some Gabonese media reports, the order for the four armored vehicles was placed in 2020. Delays in delivery were caused by payment issues faced by the Gabonese government. Additionally, concerns were raised by an interministerial commission in France, overseeing the export of military weapons, fearing that the vehicles could be used to suppress potential protests during the upcoming general elections. However, negotiations between the Gabonese defense minister, Felicite Anguarine Gubalai, and French authorities led to a revision of the decision. As a reconnaissance vehicle, the AML-90 is designed to operate with a crew of three people, including a commander, a driver, and a gunner. With its lightweight and compact dimensions, the AML-90 is well suited for various military missions, especially in reconnaissance and surveillance roles. In terms of firepower, the AML-90 is armed with a 90mm D921F1 rifled cannon, mounted in its turret. The main armament can carry 20 rounds and offers a 360-degree rotation. Although there is no stabilizer, the gun can be manually elevated from minus 8 to plus 15 degrees. In addition to the main cannon, the AML-90 is equipped with a coaxial armament, featuring either a 7.5mm AAT-52 or a 7.62mm MAG machine gun. The coaxial armament has a total ammunition capacity of 2,400 rounds and complements the main weapon, enhancing the vehicle's combat capabilities. Furthermore, the AML-90 is equipped with a secondary armament, also consisting of a 7.5mm AAT-52 or 7.62mm MAG machine gun, mounted on pivoting support on the turret roof. This secondary armament provides additional firepower and flexibility in different combat scenarios. The AML-90 features a four-wheel drive chassis. The vehicle is powered by a Panhard Model 4 HD four-cylinder air-cooled petrol engine, capable of generating 90 horsepower at 4,700 RPM. With this engine, the AML-90 can achieve a maximum speed of 90 km per hour on roads and reverse at a speed of 5.5 km per hour. With a single fuel tank capacity of 156 liters, it has an operational range of 600 km on roads. Its agility is further demonstrated by its excellent obstacle crossing capabilities. It can handle various terrains, with a ground clearance of 0.33 meters, the ability to scale walls up to 0.3 meters, cross trenches up to 0.8 meters wide, and handle gradients up to 60% and slopes up to 30%. Moreover, it can ford through water up to 1.1 meters deep. The vehicle's protection is built around steel armor, offering a reliable level of defense against various threats. The AML-90 also offers optional NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection and a smoke system with 2x280mm smoke grenade launchers. While equipped with optional night vision capabilities, the AML-90's fire control primarily relies on an optical sight without night vision. This allows the crew to maintain effective target acquisition and tracking capabilities during daylight operations. Gabon has been actively upgrading its military equipment in recent years. Just weeks ago, President Ali Bongo Ondimba approved a $52 million loan to purchase a C-295 military transport aircraft from Airbus for the Air Force. Over the past decade, the country has acquired various batches of military hardware, including VP-11 4x4 vehicles from China, Dongfeng EQ-2050 vehicles, Type 07P infantry fighting vehicles, Aravis and VN-18x8 armored vehicles, and more. 
The addition of the AML-90 armored vehicles from France is expected to further bolster Gabon's military capabilities, ensuring that the Republican Guard remains at the forefront of the country's defense.